I'm sitting in this wonderful campus of Amity Mumbai. Welcome to Shiksha.com. And today I'm doing an interview with the Vice Chancellor of the University, Mr. A. W. Satosh Kumar. What are the highlights of the campus? This is a very holistic campus, I should say. This is a very quiet and calm environment here. I mean, it's a very bustling environment where, you know, it's only devoted to research, innovation and academia. We currently have more than 6,000 and odd students who have been registered in 19 different schools and colleges which are within the campus. So this sprawling campus is among the meadows around the hill stations here. Yeah. So what kind of courses are the highlights of the campus? We have 90 different schools offering more than 120 different courses here. Out of the 19 different schools, we have more than 8 different schools that have been top tier ranking in India. And I should say that uh, Amity School of Engineering Technology, Amity Business School, Amity School of Fashion Design, Amity Law School are uh, the top among, among the leaderboards here. Other than that, we have also Amity uh, School of Communications, uh, Amity Film School. We have a state-of-the-art uh, infrastructure facility with more than five different studios. And do we get industry recognition of that program? Yes, it is. We have a full-fledged uh, sponsored uh, Center for Excellence. So Tata has sponsored a, a full of state-of-the-art automobile automation industry, which is there, a Center for Excellence, which is working under the Amity School of Engineering Technology. Similarly, we have more than 11 different Center for Excellence, which have an active collaboration with the, uh, with the industry. So are they part and parcel in these methods? Both, both I should say yes, because you know, they are part and parcel of the course. They also just follow up these students for internship program, a short term training program, and they have been also observed as part of their industry as well. So with NEP coming up, a lot of focus is being given to research, innovation, and patenting. How does Amity Mumbai stand on that front? We give a lot of uh, importance to research and innovation. The top tier people, the deans, uh, the top tier academic people are all alumni from uh, great uh, research and innovation institute. For example, I should say that I've been there in the US for 18 years, uh, involved in academia, research and innovation. We have campus entrepreneurs. 13 of our students are currently entrepreneurs who are minting millions and millions of dollars. Uh, we have an incubator facility. 13 of our uh, students are a part of the incubators here. And we have two of the faculties who are also incubators who are being sponsored by government of India. Do you also sponsor these students? Yes, it is. You know, we are also sponsor the students. At the same time, you know, they have given little incentive on that. We also just uh, foster them in bringing about angel investors. A lot of money is being spent by Amity Mumbai campus. Here I see good infrastructure being laid down, good facilities being provided to the students. Now, does that result in good placements as well? Yes, it is. I am indeed very happy to say that the 92% is the current this year uh, uh, placement uh, percentage. Of the entire campus? Yes, of the entire campus. And uh, out of this 92, I should say that 324 companies are taking part uh, on the, the campus. And out of this 324 companies, I should say that the recurring companies that have come four years on a consecutive basis is more than 227. We also get more than 22 percentage of new companies. So majority of the placements are happening in engineering or ma and management or it... Not really. We get a 360 degree all around placement. That is what we aim at and that is what we are achieving at. We have more than five or six uh, international companies where, you know, the average package goes more than five times, ten times as you compare with an INR. And were these B.Tech students or...? Uh, they are B.Tech students, they are film technology students, fashion design, uh, business uh, school students, biotechnology. The highest has been the, what figure? The highest has been 30, 31 lakhs nationally, I should say. We have the state of the art uh, uh, classrooms. We have the state of art uh, practical facilities for the students. We have state of the art uh, laboratory facilities which are mechanized. And as I said that 19 different schools, we have different types of laboratories as well that will cater to that particular area. We have a common uh, automated uh, uh, washing facility. Uh, we have bus facilities for the students who ban from Mumbai. Our uh, hostel facilities cater to uh, a huge number of people, more than 2,500 people. Are living in hostels? Yes, it is. We have both uh, ladies as well as gents hostel, which is separate. Many extracurricular activities like archery. Uh, we are now planning for a horse riding we have proposed a 14-story building which will exclusively only cater to uh, the accommodation facility of the students. Are there any plans to expand upon the camp campus? Certainly though, because you know, uh, our campus, you know, 30 and odd acres currently as of now. You know, 
we are also aquatic at an extra of 70 in and around this area. The hills that you see around will be totally having a meadow only consisting of a bit. We have 18 different clubs. We have a student council which cater to these clubs. We have top tier intercollegiate festivals and to name a few, Technicia, Aminova, these are all tech festivals. We also give uh, a hackathon festival which is a mind-blowing uh, knowledge festival in computer science. In case a student was, wants a resolution of some problem, what mechanism, what processes do you have in place? We have more than 20 statutory committees. And uh, these statutory committees, the hierarchy, uh, the path in which you know, the grievances uh, progress from the down, uh, from the student is being totally automated. And you know, we give certain uh, uh, a duration in time where this has to be solved. If that is not going to be solved within the stipulated time, automatically this gets escalated to the up matrix. So how many uh, problems you get in a month? I seldom get anything. I should certainly say this is honest uh, answer though. In a year or so, I, I get one. Now, how to decide which college to go to? One of the important thing is the infrastructure. Whether the college or university, like you know, you have, you have seen here, Amit University, has a state-of-the-art infrastructure. The second one is the utilization of infrastructure, which goes by word of mouth by our own students. So the reviews that you would get. The other important thing I would say is are we progressing towards the placement? How is the placement that is going on? Great tip, sir. It was a wonderful conversation with you. Thank you very much. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for notifications on the latest reviews and comparisons.